I'm 15 years old and I've been editing for around 3 years now for other people and myself. So I'm going to show you how to edit videos like a pro. But before we start, what even is editing? Okay, maybe we don't need to go that far back. So first of all, you obviously need a video idea and a script. But let's just say you have all that already. Now we need to gather some actual footage for the video. But there's pretty much two main types of footage that you'll be using. A-roll and B-roll. A-roll is footage of someone talking in real time to the camera with no voiceovers. B-roll is footage of something else like stock videos but has voiceovers over it. Just like I'm doing right now. You'll probably need to gather enough B-roll to last the whole entire video. Remember, there's never too much B-roll. You can get B-roll from places like Storyblocks, YouTube or you can just film it yourself. Now I know a lot of people won't pay for a stock footage website so you're better off just using Pexel which is a free website. Now for the actual editing. The first thing you have to remember is that 80% of people in this generation have severe ADHD and their attention span of a 4 year old. So you want to make your videos very fast paced. Now the part you want to focus on the most is the intro. The intro by far is the most important part of the video as it's the opening segment and also the part that will decide if people will stay or not. I probably spend more time just on the intro than the actual video. So make sure you're spamming effects and enough content to stimulate their minds. Now if you're filming yourself with a camera, then make sure you use that at the start of the video as it builds connection with your audience. But if not, just use a ton of A-roll and B-roll and you should be good. And remember to never let your intro go for too long. There's nothing worse than clicking a video and the intro is one minute long. Just try to keep it nice and short. Also, try to make cuts around every one to three seconds. That just goes back to the ADHD thing. Now don't worry about effects quite yet. You just want a simple draft for now. This is the order I do my edits in. Voiceovers, import the footage, cut the clip up, import music, then effects, then sound effects. Now once you've gotten into the main part of the video, you don't need to make it as fast and flashy as the intro, but you still need to maintain pace and fast cuts which relates to retention. Retention is where you're basically keeping your audience watching and not letting them click off. You need to make it as interesting as possible at all times and have continuity editing. Continuity editing is basically where you're keeping your video consistent from start to finish and not leaving viewers unhappy. Holding retention can be hard but is also one of the most important parts about a video. Now for the fun stuff. Here's some stuff you can include in your videos to spice them up a little bit. Subtitles. Subtitles are a great way to make your videos more interesting as it keeps people watching when they're focused on them. They're also very easy to make. Simply write out some text and drag the transform effect onto it. Create a keyframe and scale your text down to zero. Then go forward around 5 frames and scale it up a bit, just like you see here. Then go forward around 2 frames, then scale it down a tiny bit. Then uncheck the composition shutter angle box and turn it up to the max. And just like that, you have a nice subtitle animation. Then just duplicate it and write whatever you want. Now another good thing to do is to just use presets. Pretty much everyone that makes good videos probably uses presets because it's much faster and easier to use while still looking good at the same time. You can find presets pretty much anywhere but YouTube is probably the best place. Just type up free presets for whatever editing software you're using and then download them. Another flashy effect to use is a smooth zoom in animation but I already done a mini tutorial on that on my 10 tricks to master premiere pro for beginners so you should definitely go check that out. Now a very very important thing to add is sound effects. It may not feel like they're that important but they literally change the whole feel of the video just by adding them. You can also just find sound effects on YouTube or a paid site such as Epidemic Sound. But make sure the sound effects are very subtle and not too loud otherwise that gets really annoying. Now there's something very important that you will need to follow to make your videos stand out and that is branding. You need to follow a certain branding with certain colours, editing style, thumbnail style, certain fonts and even your personality. That way people will know it's you when they see your thumbnail or video. Branding is very important so make sure you create one. Now the last cool idea that you could do if you don't show your face is motion tracking your profile picture onto a body. You will see me doing that a lot, it's very simple to do as well. But Finns are explained how to do it a lot better, so I'll leave that video in the description, you should definitely go check it out. And last but not least, make sure the outro isn't too long, just like what I said about the intro earlier. There's nothing worse than a long intro and outro, so just keep it short and sweet for your viewers sake and for the ADHD. But that'll be everything for this video. I hope you learned something from this. If you did, then please consider subscribing and definitely let me know what videos I should do next.